cells are the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms. They can be thought of as the building blocks of life. Living organisms can be divided into one of two groups depending on the type of cells that they are made up of. The first group of organisms are called eukaryotes. The second group of organisms are called prokaryotes. Eukaryotes are made up of more than one cell. They are said to be multicellular organisms. And prokaryotes are made up of a single cell. They are said to be unicellular organisms. Eukaryotes contain eukaryotic cells. These cells are complex. Whereas prokaryotes contain a single prokaryotic cell. And these cells are simple compared to eukaryotic cells. The defining feature of a eukaryotic cell is the presence of a nucleus, which contains the DNA that controls the cell's activities. In contrast, the defining feature of a prokaryotic cell is the absence of a nucleus. These cells still contain DNA, but the DNA is not held in by a nuclear membrane. It is free to float in the cytoplasm. You need to know some examples of eukaryotic cells for your exam. The first is an animal cell and the second is a plant cell. You need to be able to draw and label the basic subcellular structures in these cell types. You also need to know which structures are unique to plant cells and not found in animal cells. So both cell types contain a nucleus where their DNA is held, mitochondria where energy is produced, a cell membrane which controls which substances are able to go in and out of the cell, Ribosomes, represented here by the little black dots, are where proteins are made, in a process called protein synthesis. And a cytoplasm, which is the gel-like substance where most of the cell's chemical reactions take place. The three subcellular structures that are unique to plant cells and not found in animal cells are the large permanent vacuole, which contains cell sap. This is a weak solution of salt and sugars. Chloroplasts that contain the green pigment chlorophyll. This is where photosynthesis occurs. And a cell wall made from the carbohydrate cellulose. This provides the plant with structure and strength. An example of a prokaryotic cell is a bacterial cell, otherwise known as a bacterium. You need to be able to draw and label a bacterial cell. You also need to be able to compare and contrast it to plant and animal cells. So like animal and plant cells, bacterial cells contain ribosomes where protein synthesis occurs, a cytoplasm where most of the cell's reactions take place, and a cell membrane that controls what goes in and out of the cell. There are several subcellular structures that are unique to bacterial cells. The circular chromosomal DNA that is free in the cytoplasm. This DNA contains the bulk of the genetic information that the cell needs to control its activities. Plasmid DNA, small loops of DNA that can be passed between bacterial cells. They contain extra information such as antibiotic resistance genes. A flagellum, or flagella if there's more than one. This is a tail-like structure that allows the cell to move. Some bacteria have a cell wall like plant cells, but this is made from polysaccharides and protein, not cellulose. Not all bacteria have a cell wall, so we cannot say that it is a defining feature of a bacterial cell. It is, however, a feature of some. It's important to remember that bacterial cells do not have a nucleus or mitochondria, and that prokaryotic cells are much smaller than eukaryotic cells. So I've given some brief explanations of different subcellular structures here, but for full definitions that I would learn for your exam, check out my next video. If you would like some free GCSE revision notes that accompany this series of videos, please head over to my website www.drmeclever.com. You'll also find my revision guides here. And if you want to say hello and get updates on my latest work, scrollable revision notes and freebies, you can follow me on Instagram or other social media under the handle at drmeclever. And finally, if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share. Thank you.